Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday the 19th. I'm James Spann. Very balmy winter weather today and tomorrow. A chance of severe storms tomorrow night. Let's go in there and find out the facts on this deal. We'll start with the uh, water vapor satellite view across the nation early this morning. At daybreak, we have a wavy zonal flow. A little troughing north of here. Trough back in the northwest United States. That one's going to dig down across the Plain States tomorrow. Interesting to note, with that uh, lead wave, uh, we've got some pretty big storms over northeast Tennessee. In fact, at daybreak, the Weather Service in Marstown has put up a tornado warning uh, for those counties east of Knoxville for a possible tornado near Jefferson City, Tennessee. I wonder if that's the first tornado warning of the year. Now, there was some severe convection down in Florida uh, last week, and maybe there was a tornado warning there, but that might be the first one of the year, but that's a sign of the times. That's our radar at about the same time. That was at 5.04. And sure enough, we've got some uh, heavier showers from the Tennessee River south of Huntsville up to a near high top in Jackson County, but uh, nothing severe. No, no severe weather expected here today, tonight, or during the day tomorrow. Hey, it's balmy. Look at the low 60s at daybreak. Uh, the average high is around 60 for this time of the year, so we'll clearly beat that. Uh, the high today should be around 70 in most spots, and the big thaw continues around the nation. Chicago hit 46 yesterday. Easily their warmest day of the year. However, up in that region, we have blizzard warnings in effect for parts of Iowa and Minnesota. And uh, also freezing rain advisory parts of Pennsylvania. Uh, fog issues down in Louisiana. Later today, there is a slight risk of severe weather south of Kansas City for... Um, Parts of Kansas, Missouri, and northeast Oklahoma, around Wichita and Tulsa. But this is what we're concerned about tomorrow and tomorrow night, a slight risk that is the standard risk. The word slight is a little misleading. I think most people hear that and they think, well, that means there's hardly any chance of severe weather. No, that means there is a pretty decent chance. That's the standard risk. The enhanced risks are moderate and high. But there's going to be some changes to that this year because of the very issue I'm talking about. But whatever, it runs from north of Mobile up to about Detroit and Cleveland. and includes almost all of Alabama except for Mobile and Dothan. And this is the uh, probabilities. And you can see the 30% enhanced risk that does include much of north and west Alabama, basically along and north of I-59. Really, there's been no change in this outlook since yesterday. And the prime risk will be from strong straight line winds you know you, you read all this stuff on the social media that's just insane hyping this thing there's no need to do that this is not you know, the tornado threat is relatively low clearly there's a risk of severe weather and it's going to mostly be in the form of straight line winds that might be enough to knock down trees and power lines we'll take a deep look at that here in just a second and then this is the day three outlook on friday of the risk moves east from near uh, panama city and tallahassee all the way up to the New Jersey shore. Rain for the next five days, about one to two inches expected here. And the bulk of that comes tomorrow night. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run at noon today. And uh, the trough to watch is that one over the northwest. That'll be digging down into the Plain States tomorrow. But during the day today, we're kind of in a moist, soupy air mass. The high will be around 70. And yes, there could be a few scattered showers, but nothing widespread. Tomorrow, there's your digging trough. Good upper support. Spins up at 980, can't read the number there, 988, I think, millibar surface low. That is on the Illinois-Iowa border with the trailing front down through Little Rock and Houston. The day tomorrow is going to be warm and windy. Uh, south winds increasing 12 to 25 miles an hour, maybe gusting to 30. A wind advisory will probably be needed. We'll reach the middle 70s. The GFS showing 75. That is within three of the record high. 
And again, showers are possible during the day, but here comes the batch of storms tomorrow night. Uh, that thing really, really bombs out up there. The, the pressure deepens to 972 millibars. Uh, it will, the winds will be howling around the Great Lakes. All right, first off, let's look at the timing. This is the high-resolution NAM, 4-kilometer grid resolution. This is valid at uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow night in the band of strong to severe storms from Huntsville to Cullman to Jasper to near Tuscaloosa Northport. So this thing will probably enter northwest Alabama about 6 o'clock, wind up down around Birmingham and Tuscaloosa and Gadsden around 10 o'clock, and maybe Anniston around 11. Let's look at the severe weather parameters. This is the instability, the surface-based cape, convective available potential energy. Numbers are coming up. Uh, uh, those shades of green, that's over 750 joules, and uh, that is certainly... Uh, you know, adequate for severe weather, especially this time of the year. Wind fields are howling. This is the uh, wind field at 850 millibars. And uh, you've got at least a 50-knot jet at about 5,000 feet off the ground. The winds really ramp up north of here. Over Tennessee, Kentucky, they ramp, ramp up to a 70 knots. This is the uh, bulk shear. There's not a lot there. And this is the reason we're thinking the main issue is going to be strong straight-line winds. I mean, here's a little bit, but... That's not overwhelming. I'm not so sure we even see one tornado warning. We might. This is the EHI, the Energy Helicity Index, and all of a sudden now we have a value of 2, which is very significant, uh, down around Selma. And, uh, again, that's uh, clearly this is a severe weather setup. But, again, clearly the main issue will be from straight-line winds. Here's the sounding at uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow night. And, again, notice in the low levels, you don't see that extreme veering of the wind that you'd really like to see for a tornado issue. There's a little bit there, but not much. The winds ramp up very quickly, though, just off the ground to 50 knots. I mean, you know, a few thousand feet up. And uh, typically with stronger storms, some of that will be transferred down to the surface. So uh, we'll be watching tomorrow night. We'll keep an eye on things. And if warnings and watches are needed, we'll, of course, be right here. This is Friday. Everything is gone. The sky becoming mostly sunny. A little cooler. The high Friday should be around 60. We should be in bright sunshine by uh, midday and Friday afternoon. Saturday, starting off the weekend, we'll start the morning in the 30s. The high should be in the 60s. Should be a really nice day, but uh-oh. The dreaded wave is back on Sunday. The GFS is showing rain again. You you talk about, you know, insane model madness. You know, for days it had it, for days it took it out. Well, now it's back. And this is suggesting it could rain Sunday, especially over the southern half of the state. Let's look at the, the European, uh, which has performed a little better in the medium range of late. Uh, this is valid Sunday at midday, and it's got it's got the wave there, but the rain is primarily over the southern half of the state. So I think for the moment we will kind of uh, leave the northern half dry. You know, we, we took the rain out. I don't want to just blow it back in here all of a sudden we'll just mention some clouds with a chance of rain for the southern half of the state which is what the european is suggesting um, and then this is monday not bad we're starting to see some cooler air coming in from the north still though the high would be around 60 if this is right tuesday we'll have drop back in the 50s and this is wednesday uh, pretty good trough over the east and nice cold air advection High would be in the 40s on Wednesday, if this is right, with a pretty good north wind. So that's that next pop of cold air next week we've talked about. Let's go out there into March. Do we dare? This is March 3rd. A good rain event uh, with a uh, wave down to the south. That would be just rain. Close to snow on the northern flank of that over Kentucky. And on March the 6th, short wave out across the Great Plains State. Surface low, not too far from Shreveport, and that looks kind of like a severe weather deal, which is, hey, what you expect in March. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.